450 paper bags were pre-packed by Sobeys at the food drive in Acton, making it easier for shoppers to grab, pay and donate. The goal of the day was to fill a fire truck. The larger goal is to fill the pantry at the Roxy Center so clients can take food home for their family. Working together with Food for Life, they serve about 70 individuals a week and only a few months ago expanded the program by opening in the evening to meet a growing demand. The first week we did it, I think we had eight uh, people access the program and we closed out two weeks ago with 41. Um, so as a whole, the numbers have doubled in the last 12 months. The Roxy Centre also offers community meals. We work in partnership with Food for Life as well as another foundation in town to offer a monthly community dinner which uh, we serve about 80 to 100. Lucas added that there's also a twice weekly free lunch which usually draws about 30 people to the centre. The reason for the increasing number of clients remains inflationary pressure, job loss and the lingering effects of COVID according to Walker. <laughs> At the Home Hardware in Georgetown, customers were able to buy a bucket for $5, fill it with any regularly priced item in the store and receive a 20% discount at checkout. The $5 donation went to Food for Kids. The organization ensures that students who are in the program have a bag of food to take home for the weekend. More than 1,100 kids are currently being helped, which is about 100 more than last school year. I'm just happy that the community rallies behind us and we're able to do and continue to do what we do, um, especially, you know, um, bringing on new students. You always have to think two, three years ahead. Um, once you start feeding a child, you don't want to have to say we have no more funds that we can't feed you. So we're always looking for that sustainable funding. Food for Kids is still tabulating the total for fill a bucket, but the numbers are in for the food drive, which brought in 1,400 pounds of food donations and $614 in cash donations. Jason Trout for Halton News in Halton Hills.